Everyone has heard the term blood pressure, but what exactly is it? In today's Your Heart in 90 Seconds, I will explain exactly what blood pressure is and what your numbers should be. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified when we release a new video. Hello, this is Cam from Pulse Cardiac Health. Now in technical terms, blood pressure is the pressure that our blood pushes on the inside of our arteries with. Blood pressure is a necessity. Without blood pressure, our blood would not flow throughout our bodies. To measure our blood pressure, we put a cuff on our arm. It's called a sphygmomanometer, one of my favorite words. We come up with two numbers, one number over another. The top number is called your systolic blood pressure. Now if you feel your pulse, when you feel that little bump go past your fingers, that's your systolic blood pressure, the high number. It's the pressure when your heart's beating. The pressure in between those beats is called your diastolic blood pressure. It's your low number and it's the pressure when your heart's relaxed. Now what should your blood pressure be? So if you are an otherwise healthy Canadian, you need to have a blood pressure less than 140 over 90. Now if you have diabetes, you need to have a lower blood pressure. It needs to be less than 130 over 80. If you have blocked arteries in your neck, your heart, your legs, anywhere in your body, or if you have chronic kidney disease, your blood pressure needs to be less than 120 over 80. How do you do this? Well, you get out and move. You be active. You eat a diet that's high in fiber and low in saturated fat. You limit your salt to less than one teaspoon a day. That's 2000 milligrams. You also limit your alcohol consumption to less than two drinks a day for men, less than one drink a day for women. Now, if all those things don't work and your blood pressure is still high, you need to take pills. Okay. You get your doctor to prescribe pills and you take them because it's much easier to treat a, a blood pressure than to treat a heart attack or a stroke. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.